Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is legendary warrior Rygar running on the Amiga, uh, running on my A500 Mini, but this is Seismic Mines 2019 homebrew and it was written for the Amiga 1200 and or 4000. At least that's what it says before you boot it up. So it's based on an arcade machine of the same name released in 1986 by Tecmo, which is a kind of run and gun platforming game set in the future, although it's kind of prehistoric in the way it looks. There never was an Amiga port back in the day. In fact, there were no 16-bit ports. Um, US Gold, I think it was US Gold, pointed it, ported it sorry, to the 8-bit micro, Spectrum, Amstrad and Commodore. And they were all really rather good versions. I love the Spectrum version, bought it as a kid, uh, also have a gameplay of it, and it plays really rather well. It's quite an accurate 8-bit port of the arcade game. There's also a NES version, which kind of does its own thing. Is far more you know uh, a, a different type of straight you know game rather than this straightforward running from left to right chopping people up with your razor blade yo-yo and shit uh, which they stole from octopussy seriously check it out look it up honestly <laughs> um but yeah there, there's also a master system version which i think i got gameplay off which is quite cool as well but yeah no 16-bit home port so this was ported uh, it features two button functionality and it's written for the 1200 so i would coco that this should be okay perfect anyway bottom left hand corner of the screen my lives at the bottom in the middle they're like runes and stuff that you collect never know uh, knew what they actually did did they just give you points they beef you up and shit like that don't know Hello, I only ever got a couple of them on the spectrum, so if anyone knows what they were, you know, what they do, let me know. I have played this on the arcade, uh, on MAME. Bottom right hand corner is the round, in case you forgot what round you're on, and a very small map of the stage. Top right hand corner shows you when you get your next extra life. In the middle at the top is your high score, and underneath that's your time, because you are running against the clock. And then, um, obviously, we are player one, showing my score. Set in the future. A, um, where many, many people have tried to rule the world but all have been defeated by time. There'll be a splash screen that tells you this in a minute. Good luck reading it before it times. I can't do that on any fucking version. Shit like that drives me up the wall. Does it in the arcade as well. And then some bloke called, or evil force called Igar rises from the dead and brings his beings of dread with him and takes over the land. So with the legendary warrior of legend, walked into that one, Rygar comes back, apparently it's in vogue to come back from the dead in this game comes back and is there to defeat him um yeah running gun press fire and a lot of shit goes on there you go read this i can't be bothered to try and read it because it always cuts off before i get to the end and i get frustrated but that's the title screen from the arcade so there you go right let's fight them's fighting words right so fire you fire in all directions you can fire on the floor Okay, uh, I was pr trying to work out what jump is. Jumps, these button mappings are weird and a bit pants, don't like them. They're not what you think they should be. And I'm a creature of habit. That's a blowy up pow thing. Up and fire is your um, protection from above move. That's the worst descriptive term ever. I am aware of that. Don't remember the bad guys. Yeah, fuck you flying thing being so forthcoming. Right, is this one of the things that will... Hang on. No. Fucking hell. Look how much shit is going on. There's no slowdown. What's the point? Oh, he got inside. Do you see that? He got inside my um, spinny razor blade yo-yo. This death thing. I don't know. I can't help but the armadillos are a bit poorly armoured because they jump at me. I panic thinking, am I going to kill them because they're armadillos and therefore they're armoured? It's in their name, see? And then I hit them in the chops and they die. Nice parallax. Don't think the other versions have parallax. So what is the deal with those things? I'm sure it's something really obvious and I ask this in every version. Oh, fuck off. I've played and um, then someone tells me and it's really rather quite obvious. There is a trainer version of this which I may be... Um, 
Well, no, bollocks, I'm going to enable the trainer version because that's quite fucking hard, isn't it? Right, uh, long live the Amiga. Indubitably so. Right, so, let's go again. If this is an arcade port, why didn't you give me the ability to put credits in? I mean, otherwise it's not really an accurate arcade port, is it? Just give me three lives, that's a bit weak. Hopefully, because i got infinite lives... Yay, yeah, yeah, I'm just running. It really does, from memory anyway, um, look like the arcade. Can't fire up when you're jumping. That's a bit pants. Oh, sh hey, you can jump on some enemies, can you? Look how much shit's going on. Your sprite is definitely bang on the arcade. I'm going to look it up after I play this and then probably realise it's nothing like it. Jeez. I regret coming back from the dead now. I didn't know it was going to be this much work. What with it being 36 degrees and everything. How am I supposed to get over there? Oh, there's a tree branch. Didn't realise that. Thinks it's Levick Legend of Kagi. Don't know what that does. I'm assuming if I look up, it'll... Shit. Tell me stuff. Uh, and that, um, you know, like my, the T means time, presumably. Oh, I forget the weird owl man. This is brutal. Again, you could argue that's accurate to the arcade, but if you make stuff accurate to the arcade when it's... Oh, look at my chopper, it just got bigger. Awkward. Um, and the arcade game is fucking brutal, then... Oh, look at that. It's like the piss-take Indiana Jones Terry's chocolate odd, uh, uh, orange advert from the 80s. Who remembers that? Yeah, and you make it, you know, this accurate to the arcade, but don't give me continues, then you wasted all your nice programming because no one's going to get to see fuck all. Stage two. Yep, I remember this. You ain't, I mean, if you played any versions of Riker, I'd love to know what you thought. Like I said, the NES one is somewhat... Is it like more of a, an adventure game? Not full-on adventure game, if you know what I mean. Did, did I keep my big chopper? Oh, hey, I just noticed I had a rune or... That's your power-ups. <laughs> Oh, that's power-ups. Is it really? Wow. Look at this. Am I... There we go. Gap. I remember them. They're like multiple man or something. Only they're nothing like multiple man. What was that? This is relentless. Oh, shit. I tried to do the up thing, even though I just told you that you can't do the up swirly thing with your... Yo-yo of Razor Blade, Death, Goodness, something, I don't know. But yeah, is this regarded as a classic arcade game? How am I supposed... There's no fucking branch. How are you supposed to... It seems to me that there's a lot of... Obviously, I'm cheating. I am aware of that. Cheap deaths in this, which are unavoidable. I mean, I know it's an arcade game, so the whole purpose of the arcade game is for you to punch in as much money, 10 piece all quarters, as you possibly can to put the arcade owner's kids through college and shit. But... They're still cheap, and the whole point of arcade games is you're supposed to let me fuck off. No, not fuck off, because uh, you want my money. Uh, it felt like I have somewhat control over my destiny. They look like chefs, look. They've got those little hats on to stop their hair going in the food. Thought you should know that. Is something going on with my map, bottom right hand corner? Right, it's counting down my bonus. I can't skip. No, it's just reset. Okay. I don't know if the music's accurate to the arcade. It surely would have had more than one tune. Can I run him? Oh, I just remembered this bit. It's a pain in the ass. See, look, I got to contemplate them. So you can jump on enemies then. I'm doing, waiting for the obligatory bridge to go bridge, log to go down. You know, music change, then answer that question. Oh, lava. Oh shit, that's because I was looking at the lava. So you do start from where you die, which is a fucking godsend, as is the fact that this is a trained version of the game, otherwise you would see bollocks all. Oh, 
You can jump on them. This changes everything. My nose is itching. That doesn't change much. I was scratching it there, to be fair. This is brutal. But accurate and therefore should be commended. It seems an odd game, unless the person who wrote it, which is to be fair, might be why stuff like this happened, which is, you know, they got such an, uh, you know, love of the arcade that they're like, why did this never get ported to my beloved machine of choice? I'm gonna write that wrong and, you know, port it. Because otherwise you could say, why did you make the time and effort to make such an incredibly accurate port of an arcade game that's brutally unforgiving? And, not really a classic, although I love the Spectrum version, but then to be fair, the Spectrum version is a lot more forgiving than this. I got lazy, I couldn't be able to go backwards. See, give me infinite lives and I become complacent. Look at that! Sexy! It's in the future, so obviously it's climate change. You know, that thing that's a bunch of exaggerated bollocks so you don't mind paying more taxes. Wake up, people. What are you going to do? Pay more taxes. See what I did there? Oh, look! Fireballs! Oh, it's in! Okay, it's Death Adder. You're in the wrong bloody franchise, mate. But that's alright, because I'm just going to run by you. Because each level starts and ends in the same way. I couldn't work out if I'd progressed then, or it'd gone back to the beginning. Right. So yeah, it is what it is. It's an incredibly accurate, impressive pour of an incredibly balls horrifically hard and very average non-legendary arcade game. Although I could be wrong. Maybe maybe people will lose their shit over, you know, the fact that someone made a, an arcade perfect pour of this game. I don't know how many levels there are. Oh I can find if you've got room, then you can Oh, you can fire up, it's just very hit or miss. Otherwise known as arcade difficulty. Let's, let's make some money! I do like that soft thud. Hey! What? I think this is possibly the first I've ever got in this game because I don't remember. Oh! Remember that. can't okay I don't know what happened then it glitched but I'm glad it did because I couldn't get off the bloody rope or elastic band can't be that much more surely I don't know look at my repulse bonus uh is that basically the number of bad guys I've twatted and are these supposed to be different gods he looks like Hermes and I just noticed I got a power up in those spaces down below. And where's the burp this feather came from? Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, there is variety. I mean, it's a side scroll, I know, but there is variety in the levels. I'm just running. Because, like I said, take advantage. That was a waste. Oh! Cheap of the fact that you uh, could jump on them. Come on. I'm only on round six. I just look bottom right. I'm realised. Yeah, that's a lightning life. You're going to do the exact same cheap move again, aren't you? And come from the top. Yeah. See, so, like I said, uh, sometimes it's just too much shit and it's too overwhelming and you're overpowered. And I feel like regardless of how good you are, you are going to die at that point. Hey look everyone, it's snowing. Climate emergency over. Okay, hello. Well, there you go. I think you get an impression of what Rygar is about. Arcade, perfect version of an arcade game that I guess, like I said, someone loved so much from their childhood they decided to bang it on the Amiga because they never got it on their machine of choice as a kid. And I can respect that. I really can. It's like um, Tiny Bubble and Tiniest. 
you know, the gradius. They're both by the same people. The gradius and bubble bubble ports. Although there is a um, port of bubble bubble on the Amiga. It's just crap. It's not terrible, but it's crap compared to the tiniest one. Got shield. That's the first time I get this, and I'm seven stages in. Well, I don't know when it's going to run out. When's it going to run out? It's not, apparently. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. Legendary Warrior Rygar. Seismic Mines, is it? Uh, the start of this video seems so long ago. 2019 Homebrew. And, uh, and it's in the public domain, so, you know, download it. Just Google it, and you'll get it. And yeah, look at that. So anyway, it's always, I'd love to know what I think, especially if you played this, or Rygar in the arcade, and you think I'm wrong, and that this was a worthy, you know, port of a truly underrated arcade game. I'm pretty sure those, those glitches are to do with me running this on the A500 Mini. Although it should be able to run 1200 games. Yeah, and did you play any of the 8-bit ones? Particularly, you know, the NES and the Master System version. And Spectrum. Uh, in fact, any of them. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later.